Tony Williams no more. Now it's Kid Wicked. Take a look. I like that. Yeah, I'm down here at Club 616 mixing it up with my good friend David the Worm. You know, when my schedule allows it, I like to roll on down to the club and listen to some of the best dance music Memphis has to offer. But that's not what I'm here to talk about. What I'm here to talk about is Tony Williams. Now, Tony Williams in the past was a jabroni. Let's face it, folks. Tony Williams was nothing more than a job boy. Well, that is going to come to a screeching halt today, right here, right now. From this point on, I will be referred to as Kid Wicked, and I will answer to nothing other than Kid Wicked. I've been watching wrestling, and I went to all the studios and the stadiums, and I got the kayfabe sheets, and I dreamed of becoming a professional wrestler, and I became a professional wrestler, and I didn't give a that I wasn't going to be seven feet tall, or I didn't give a that I wasn't going to be 300 pounds. But once I became a professional wrestler, I was introduced to something that I'm not too fond of, and that's called politics. The reason why Tony Williams was a job boy is because every promoter that he ever worked for buried his in the opening matches and didn't give him the push and didn't give him the chance that he deserved. Now, talking about last week's show, and by the way, if you saw the show, and you saw the Young Guns match, you know that I stole the show. But after the match was over, and I was in the back getting dressed, and I looked up at the monitor, I could have sworn that somebody had changed the station because I thought I was watching Jurassic Park, the trilogy. I saw all these old men in tights wrestling around. Randy Hales, get over it. This is a new day, and this is a new age, and wrestling has evolved. And you need to get with the program. The future of Memphis Power Pro Wrestling is Kid Wicked. People don't tune in to WWF to see Terry Funk. They tune in to see Stone Cold Steve Austin. People don't tune in to WCW to see Hulk Hogan or Ric Flair. They tune in to see Goldberg. And I can guarantee you that people are gonna tune in to Memphis Power Pro Wrestling to watch Kid Wicked and watch him get wicked each and every week. And if you don't believe me, you just tune in each and every Saturday morning at 11 a.m. on WMC TV 5 and you watch me get wicked. So Tony, you think they actually bought this Kid Wicked bit? What are you trying to say, Dale? Well, I mean, it's, I still know you're Tony Williams. What's this Kid Wicked stuff? Hold on just a minute. Is that camera still rolling? Get the camera over here. You know, I mentioned David the Worm, but I didn't really formally introduce him as what he does. What exactly do you do here, David? I play records at Club 616. So, in essence, you like to play with records? Yeah, I play with records. Hit records. Hit records? Yeah, like You got one. any? Yeah, like this one. Daft Punk Around the World? That's yeah. a big hit record. Daft Punk Around the World. I like that song. That was a big hit, wasn't it? Oh, real big hit. You know what? It's even a bigger hit now. I told you, friend or foe, I'm going to get wicked starting right here and right now. <laughs> 